It's last stand time. We are at the skip. We've got, mm, it's not a massively inspired roster of characters here, but this is what I'm going to go for. Shane is going to have the blaze guard because this is just, it is just so much fun. Rick, uh, he's going to have the blizzard pistol. Have I got another set of armor with tactical? I do not. Okay, but bear in mind, he doesn't have tactical. And Aaron here, he's bringing the savior handgun, another way to cripple and set things alight. We could use Rosita. Nah, stuff it. Let's just see what happens when we use this particular team. So, yeah, not a massively inspired selection of heroes that we can choose from. Rick isn't a bad leader. Shane is just a lot of fun. That's the main reason to bring him. And that's what we're going for. We're just gonna just gonna have some fun with this one. It, it being able to explode walkers, it does have some value. It's yeah, but I mean, just we got so many bang bangs going on. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, next time, probably use Rick as the hero. He's a he is actually a pretty effective leader. His leadership trait is pretty great. Oh, just being able to do stuff like that. Being able to wipe out many, many walkers all at once. It's too good an opportunity to turn down. It's a lot of fun. Now, what I would like is to get some charge points for Mr. Aaron. The Blaze Guard, of course, such a good weapon because it has that area effect, but... Oh, what the heck. Um... Yeah, it also ignites targets as well. Very, very handy thing to be able to do. Let's slow these guys down. Blaze Guard has its limitations. It's got good range. It's got that small blast, which is just great. It does, again, ignite targets. But it can't overwatch. It, um... Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's sort of the main thing. You don't get reactive shooting with it. It is fantastic in Shane's hands, though. Okay, Rick has got maximum inspiration. That's that's a good thing. Definitely getting to the point where the walkers already are tougher to kill. Um... But kill them with shell. I've got to remember. Oh my gosh, I've I've put Aaron in a terrible position there. Got to remember that I've got those exploding rounds on everybody. I if I'm bringing Shane, he's usually just a team member, not the leader. But I got to remember, everyone's going to be exploding walkers everywhere. And I almost I almost had a terrible misclick there because of that. Let's get you finished off there. So the walker selection that we've had so far, speedies, armoured tanks. Haven't had any commonwealth walkers. That's good because they're a bit of a nightmare to deal with. Got to remember that we do have speedies. Haven't had many of them, but they just... They have this dreadful habit of just turning up where you don't want them. Really causing a nuisance. I want to keep the cadence up here. I want to be killing stuff nice and quickly. Sorry, do excuse me. Sorry, uh, just had a delivery and we're back in the room. Okay, um, yes, let's get them. Let's see if we can perhaps explode some heads. Nope, didn't manage it that time. Managed it that time. Means that we can kind of keep the score multiplier up pretty effectively we can just kill so many things all at once we haven't really got a, a, an effective way to get charge points still going to use charge points if i think it's the best option especially if we can get a charge point back like we kind of can there use charge point get a kill um 
and then kill something else immediately in that turn, you know, you're, you're essentially getting the charge point back. So we're scarily close to some speedy walkers, but we can, of course, cripple them. If we can, we want to blow up that armored walker. Precisely because of that, we get a whole bunch of other walkers. Score multiplier is at 10. That is great. Um, I want to keep that high if we can. Yes, we can do that. We can cripple all of those. These tanks definitely proving pretty resilient. You, sir, need to be on fire. Those tanks, bless them, they just keep on coming, don't they? They, uh, hard to stop. Oh, nice. Good, good explosions there. See if we can get this little effer. Nope. Can we go there? Yes, we are safe because he is crippled. Brilliant. The old exploding rounds take out some other walkers. I think, uh, I think you, sir, bit too much of a problem to be keeping alive. Be nice if we kill him, get our charge points back. We do. Inspiration, of course, gives you a chance to get an additional charge point on a kill. So um, you absolutely can make a kill, get all your charge points back. It's very nice when that happens. Okay, what have we got over here? Um, let's get those guys cooking. Let's get you nice and toasty as well. No, didn't fancy it, okay. Hit these guys with, with what we've got, which isn't a lot. That's it. You guys bunch up, that's very good for us. For a number of reasons. Okay, we're gonna hold on to Rick's charge attack. I think that there is a case that could be made for, hey, look, get using that, but let's let's just hold on to it for a second. We don't know where this wave is gonna come in. They might be right next to us. Okay, they appeared in what's actually an okay, okay kind of place for us. Now we wanna get some exploding going on so that we can damage that Commonwealth. Ah, good. Now the fact about the Commonwealth is that they are quite resistant status effects, but there you go, we managed to get one of those guys cooking. I mean, if we needed a charge point, we would get one here. Strictly speaking, we don't, everyone's, everyone's actually pretty well charged. Take him out, cripple him. Okay, we are chuckling. Now I wanna get one, two, three. Yes, I can do that. Obviously this guy is a potential problem. He will cook, he will burn to death. Too bad that one down at the, the bottom of the screen also burned to death. It would have been nice to have got one more shot in, set him, a, you know, made him explode, but um, it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, we can go here. Okay, we've got some goos coming in next turn. That's somewhat scary stuff. Okay, we can't go there. I would like to set these guys alight, but it's, it's not an option at the moment. Let's get him exploding. Good. Give you a little bit more good news. Get off of that back line because we're gonna have some reinforcements coming in. Boom. Might be nice to have caused a little bit more harm to our friend there, but okay. Let's get you cooking, shall we? Or not. There you go, them speedies just appearing out of nowhere, bless them. Okay, got three targets that we're hitting there. Three targets ignited, good, good, good. Get them crippled. It's 
what do we want to do here? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, let's get you cooking. You're a tougher, tougher cookie than that one. Those goos are stubbornly remaining out of range. That's annoying. Oh no, that's actually a goo there. Hmm, didn't realize. Um, yeah, we can't let those goos get too close. They will just be a bit of a headache. I want to get that one at the back there. I want him cooking. I want him cooking right now. Thank you very much, Aaron. We're not able to cause an awful lot of damage with our direct attacks. We have to be using charges to really have enough punch to make any kind of difference. But if we can ignite targets, that gets the clock ticking. That gets them dying. That's kind of what we want. Our goo there, still quite healthy and hale. I'm not keen with that turn of events, but there we go. Exploding bullets. Let's get these guys cooking. You, sir, are persistent. You are annoyingly persistent. I think, got to do a charge attack, try and get some actual damage dealt to this guy, because just in case there's anything around that corner, I'm gonna blow him up. I'm kind of concerned about this goo. I need him to follow Aaron. Really, we need to rope dope him. We need to get him sort of out of the way, basically. Go for Aaron, he shot you. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to just run past him a different way. Might actually kind of work out to our advantage. Do this. Good, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Do this. Get him cooking. Stubbornly resistant to that idea. Okay, we've got a whole bundle of them that we can get all at once. Excellent. Exploding bullets doing what exploding bullets do. And I've got to admit, this little uh, this little lineup that we've got here, it's it's fun. It's definitely fun. Um, pound for pound, I think that Rick is a better leader, but you know. This has exploding zombie heads, so. There you go, cause some damage against them. Uh, yeah, get you cooking, why not? Or not. Shane, do you wanna get these guys toasty? Excellent. Um. Yeah, I think that's actually worth doing. Let's clear this pitch a little bit. Let's see if we can get some charge points. Mm. So we needed to actually get the kill to get the charge points. It's too bad we uh, didn't quite manage that. I'm always a little anxious when we don't have charge points and we've got what is quite frankly a very tough kind of set of enemies. We'll have to muddle on by. Not using that for any particular reason, it's just we'll be glad that we did it at some point. Now he's not gonna die just yet. Let's get this goo crispy fried, shall we? No, it didn't happen. I want you to blow up. Thank you. Um, he's gonna die to burning. <sighs> Come on, Aaron. I think we've got to do that. We might need to run through here 
uh, later on. So we've got to do that. We've got to do that. I'm annoyed that these people aren't crippled. Really annoyed because they are closing in in a way that I am finding scary and triggering. This is going to be tricky. Uh, we might be getting trapped here. It's a possibility we can blow up that goo. I mean, it, you know, it might happen. Uh, you, sir, you are the most annoying walker in the entire world at this point. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to spend any tools. I'm not going to do anything clever. Um, if it's if we're getting close to the end, we're getting close to the end. That's it. Tough nuts. Right. We should be able to. I mean, we might be able to stun some peeps. I don't know. Hmm. Really would have liked you to have blown up. Shane is histoire. Aaron's getting chewed on. Rick, you got some charge points just at the wrong time. I think that's it. We'll call it, um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I don't think our score was, was terrible. I think we perhaps could have done a little bit better. Main reason I wanted to do that was just have Shane as the boss with the blaze guard because it's a lot of fun. I thought it might make for a fun video. So there we go. Didn't get any tools. I always like to get tools after the last stand. But there you go. I, I think we can probably beat that score. But it's not a bad start. And we did have loads and loads of fun using Shane with his exploding bullets. All right. That will do for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.